40 and pregnant, what do you do? Get on YouTube and cry the blues. Pretend you're sad, pretend you're mad. The whole time this shit was a gag. All right, so we have a pregnant 40-year-old YouTuber. 40 or 50, I don't know. You hoes be looking old out here, I don't know. But anywho, we got a pregnant lady out here talking about she pregnant. They said that she's not. I never believed that she was. I know I don't fuck with her because I didn't even know this heifer. And then I found out that she was trying to dox me or doxing me for what, bitch, I don't know you. But um, the whole crazy. So am I surprised? No. Y'all let this woman get up on y'all panels and just talk and talk and talk and talk about nothing. This shit been going on forever. Whenever she fucking hits the floor, pretty much, I'm out. Because if you want to hear a motherfucker talk in circles and lie, boom, there it is. But then, cause to, to, to top it off, her ex-man who exposed her got on Lady Nika's panel tonight and he was talking in circles too. I would never want to be in a conversation with them motherfuckers right there. But see, when people lie, that's why they speak that way. Because you have to make... See, the lie, the lie, a lie is loud and just... I mean, the truth is loud and disrespectful. Remember I told y'all? It, it is what it is. But see, when you got to dance around shit, use extra words, go up and down the boulevard and still not get a direct answer, uh-uh. Because it could go either way. Because at the end of the day, what's the person going to say when they change their mind? I didn't say that. And they didn't. Because they was talking in circles. Anyway, this is so embarrassing. What I find disgusting, and women make me sick with this bullshit right here. You bitches feel like because y'all beautiful. Now, mind you, that's your opinion. Keep that in mind. The world, there's always a bad bitch. Believe that. Anyway. But it's the ones that be lacking shit and be talking about, I'm cute, I got a fat ass, but y'all don't be having nowhere to live. Your mentals don't be together. You don't have fucking jobs. You don't handle your shit. But you're talking about you cute. Don't nobody give a damn. Then y'all want to talk about dark-skinned women and call people black and burnt and crispy and ugly, but you're mentally ill. Your ass is mentally ill. And you don't even know it. Because I ain't mad that you saying those things in a sense because them same people should have cut your bum ass off a long time ago. Like I said, they listen to your bullshit. I don't know why. Because I get it. I'm like, I'm out. I'm out. There's certain people you just be like, I'm out. I can't. I can't. And I won't. Because there are different levels of crazy on here. You know what I'm saying? Some people are harmless and some people are not. Right. This right here is not harmless. I mean... I know somebody who did this shit when I was like, I had just graduated high school. Because by the 11th month, I was like, bitch, when are you going to have this alleged baby? And the sad thing was the the guy she was pregnant by, his mom and them was excited. Had went and bought shit for this imaginary baby. It's a lot of sick bitches in the world that do that shit. And like Five Babe said... Yes, anybody with newborns, anybody near hospitals, anybody who's pregnant needs to be fucking careful because it's these type of bitches that will hurt you and take your baby. You got to be very careful. Even when I was pregnant, I was very careful because you don't know who's watching you and what type of mental shit people got going on. It's a lot of crazies out there. Now, am I mistaken or did I not hear a few months ago that they said that this woman and her husband and her kid was sleeping at her aunt house? Now, I don't know if that was true, but that's what they said. So if they got evicted back then, how did anybody get put out? Because now she said the baby she pregnant with, she's pregnant. Because they what happened was they asked this man, was this woman pregnant? And he said, ask her. So everybody assumed she wasn't anyway. And now she done flipped the script and said she's pregnant by another man. And she's now living with him. But you claim you a bad bitch. You should be living with your motherfucking self. Because once again, you just confirmed that your ass is homeless. You got to listen to people speak. You feel me? So you a bad bitch. You so beautiful. You so fly. You shitting on everybody. You gorgeous. You got real hair. You got real nails. But you ain't got a motherfucking real lease in your name. So you say, you telling me that a bad bitch had to go from one place to another, depending on a man? You sounding like Adrian Slays out this motherfucker. Because y'all bad bitches. Oh, look at me. Let's do the body challenge. No, bitch, let's do the life challenge, honey. Let's do the motherfucking life adult challenge. 
the grown woman, the independent woman challenge. Let's do that. And then she said that the dude is so fat and disgusting and he can't even fit on an, air, on an airplane and all of this other bullshit. But you was a bad bitch. What was you doing with him? You see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This is why I'm beginning. I be wanting to drop down so bad. Today I wanted to drop the fuck down today real bad. Because what are you talking about, girl? You sound crazy. Oh, he was so fat and he can't even fit in an airplane. And he can't fly nowhere. He too big. But you just told us you was a bad bitch. You beautiful. You look better than all our ugly black crusty asses. So at the end of the day, what was you doing with him? Again, double talking, lying, crazy. And people listen and believe this bullshit. This is the problem. Co-signers and enablers, motherfuckers who just want content, y'all got to cut it out. Stop entertaining crazy motherfuckers because this is going to happen every time. They're going to flip on you. They're going to go wow. You know what I mean? Because this right here is off the chain. So who y'all need to go watch? Lady Nika, like her last two or three lives. There's a woman called Pretty Chocolate Girl. So this woman's husband, or they said they ain't married, but I don't know. I don't give a shit either way, um, was entertaining this woman. Now, she's dark-skinned, but I think that's why this chick is trying to go so hard on dark-skinned women because she claimed her man don't like dark-skinned women. But at the end of the day... You said he's a fat and disgusting and all of that. Why do you give a shit? None of this makes any sense. It's all crazy. You ain't got to listen to about five minutes of the shit to get the gist. You'll know what it is. But yeah. Mm -hmm. So then I heard that the... Because I guess Lady Nika had made this pretty chocolate girl uh, a moderator. And so... I don't know she I don't know how long the woman been a moderator, so I don't want to make it seem like because of this. So I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, the girl was streaming her shit while Lady Nika was on. Now see, again, I just spoke on Lady Nika last week. You keep repeating the same fuck shit. You can't fuck with everybody. When are you gonna learn? But I did a I did I did like that apology you gave Simone. That was what's up. But when are you gonna learn? You keep fucking with people and you ain't got to. You the prize. Know that. Talking about other motherfuckers knowing they worth. Do you know yours? Stop inviting everybody into the motherfucking queendom. That's how you get got. Like, how many times does it have to happen for you to get a clue that they don't respect you at the end of the day? You got to respect you. You don't need the motherfuckers to uh, moderate. That don't make them... If they support you, they support you. Period. A lot of everything, I mean, and I know some people, moderators pay them or however that shit go, but all money ain't good money. All affiliations ain't good affiliations. Like, come on, man. You are OG. You playing a dangerous game. You're not, you, you're, you're not like the people that you sit with. On, you understand what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that, oh, they're, they're beneath you, but I'm saying you don't know your worth. You really fucking don't. The way you be moving sometimes is like, what the fuck? You want to be down with everybody. You looking like, it seemed like you be attention seeking at times too. You don't have to do that. Fuck them people. You got your core people. Rock with that shit and be good with it. But you keep inviting these strange motherfuckers in. You want to be down because other people go to other sectors and they do. Fuck all that. Fuck all that. Too old for that. Fuck them niggas. They little kids. You need to be explaining shit to them. Never mind all that. You want to be down and be cool and this and that. Nah, that, you're going to keep getting disrespected. That's what they do. That's what children do. And these people come from a different era than we come from. They don't think like we do. Respect doesn't have the same meaning to them that it has to us, period. It doesn't. None of that shit means the same to them that it does to us. We from a different time. We a different generation. It's not the same. Shit that, like, you was offended that she was streaming your live. That's what they do. That's what the younger YouTubers do. They do that shit. Like, it's okay because they see other people do it. They don't know. Y'all are not the only people they watch. They watch other people doing that bullshit. Over in the Kwame Brown sector, everybody play everybody damn video. Because they don't know the rules. They behind. They don't know. That all y'all can get flagged the fuck down one day. And it's been happening over there. People have been losing their channels now, too. But... You playing with fire when you playing with children. I always tell you that children and animal mentally ill. What? You 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 asking to get got. Real shit. So yeah. That's that. 
I'm going to go watch that. I got time to go into the details because I really don't care. I just caught the, you know, the roundabout. But that man of hers, this woman's man, he talked in circles too. So that's why I said, only reason they do that is so when it all come back around, you just be like, I didn't say that. But I also find that other liars, because cause some people want motherfucking direct answers. Shout out to Ronnie Q. I like Ronnie Q. She be talking, she's very clear and very precise, okay? Get to the question. That's not what I'm asking you. I want to know. Okay, God damn it, we do too. But you got other liars who listen because they lie too. So they're okay. Like, I can't listen to a motherfucker talk to me in circles for three three minutes. I would have flipped mode on this motherfucker. Listen, answer the question. What are you talking about? I got to read between the lines. I got to assume again. So when it comes back, I can say, I didn't say that. That's what you took it as. That's a fucking liar. But y'all like liars. That's why I guess, you know, certain people get entertained over here, but... That shit is wild. I mean, to tell that kind of lie at this age is very, you know, um, telling of a person and where they are in their lives. Because like I said, you a badass bitch, but you move from one man to the next man. I just dragged J-Lo for that same shit in that uh, Black China video I just did. Because for me, as a woman, what the fuck are you doing? You can't stand on your own too? I could never, I can't. And then I get on here and say I'm a bad bitch and then I'm begging for money. I'm a bad bitch, but I'm living with people. I'm a bad bitch. I'm pregnant by somebody else. I'm a bad bitch. I'm with a fat ass nigga that I can't stand who can't fly on an airline. That's what I'm saying about the man that I'm laying with. It, it makes no sense. And then I say, we're in an open relationship. I sleep with men and women. Huh? Say what now? What is going on here? Y'all don't see that that's sick? Y'all need to stop following demons and shit. Y'all follow, a lot of y'all following demons. These these people are sick. It ain't even about mental illness. It's about them motherfuckers being demonic. Think about all of that shit right there. And then y'all let this person still tell y'all that she's a bad bitch. Yeah, you a bad bitch, all right? Bad news, bitch, honey. You need to pull your shit together. Right? Like I said, out here fucking with people that don't really, you know what I'm saying, know you. Being messy and shit. Always somewhere starting shit. Or finishing shit. It ain't never your fault. I was like, ooh, the professional victim tour started again. Because I was, um again, on Lady Nika Live one morning. And the girl was on there crying. And they was like, why? She was like, oh, my father died. Well, honey, you need to excuse yourself from the motherfucking panel and go grieve. Because there's five, six hundred other people here who's here for entertainment, not at a funeral. Yeah, they said your dad died, but that's your daddy. That's your issue. That's your cross to bear. That's your life. That's personal. Everything ain't for YouTube, just like this baby bullshit one for YouTube. So I was like, why the fuck she up there crying? <laughs> the same people panel you was crying on, you over there calling them all kind of disgusting names today. And they actually gave a fuck. See, this is why I don't entertain shit, because I know me. I would have kindly told her, sweetie, you need to step down. Because this is not where you grieve. This ain't where you grieve. You need to be sitting quietly in a garden, listening to some music, looking at pictures, reflecting. How the fuck are you grieving on YouTube? You on here crying. Then the funny shit was, so this is when that situation that came out. And the dude wanted to get on Lady Nika panel. And it was like, she was like, I'll, I'm, he can get up here when I get down. And she said she was at work and she stayed up there the whole time. Right. When is this baby due? How long you been at this job? You got maternity leave? There's so many questions. You know, like, just basic shit. As an adult, we know better. But that shit is crazy, man. All of it's crazy. Even if you are really pregnant, and now you're talking about I'm pregnant by somebody else and I moved in with him, you don't look like a G. You look like a H. Mm-hmm. That's disgusting. That's somebody with low self-esteem. You out here slinging that thing around... With no condom in 2023, you're getting pregnant and you're not stable. You clearly don't have nowhere to live because you said you had to go live somewhere else. What the fuck are you talking about? I left him. Who leaves somebody without a goddamn plan? If you leave, it needs to be to move into your shit because you a bad bitch and you work and you beautiful and you got real hair, real nails, real light skin. You ain't a fat ass, so you should have money, right? 
This is shit kill me with these bitches. Y'all think y'all y'all you're delusional. That's the mental illness. Like I said, Adrian Slate always over there talking about how beautiful she is and the body challenge and the bitch. Bitch. How about the key challenge? That's the real challenge. The key challenge. Do you turn a key anywhere? The lease challenge. Is your name on a lease at any place, baby? Anywhere. I don't give a fuck if it's a closet, a storage unit. Is your name on something? No. But y'all out here talking about y'all got a fat ass. I just saw a video by Mr. Let Go. And it was a girl. She had a nice body, nice shape, but she ain't had no teeth, right? And he was like, see, ladies, that's why y'all need to get out there and get in the gym and eat right. Because a man will date this woman even with no teeth. So I'm in the comment section. I see everybody like the dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I wrote, unless she got kids. Because allegedly, if you have kids, then that cancels you out, right? It's a whole lot of things that cancel you out as far as the black man is concerned, correct? Contradictions all day long. It's not about that. That's why black men got a lot of y'all heads fucked up. Y'all think because y'all cute, it means something. Pretty ain't never paid near a motherfucking bill. Well, go write pretty on a piece of paper and take it to the bank and see what they give you back. Write fat ass and long hair. And y'all don't even be bad. You can have a fat ass. You can be light-skinned. You can be all that and still be ugly ass bitch. So what What are you talking about? That's the problem. You're delusional. I mean, like, who told Adrian Slaves that she was so fucking gorgeous? I mean, this chick, I, I like Adrian. Don't get me wrong. But when I hear her talking about how beautiful she is, girl, do you have a mirror? Do you have a mirror? And your ass is bought. It's not yours. Do you know how many natural, beautiful, naturally beautiful women there are in the world? What are you talking about? There's always a better bitch. I don't care who you are, there's always somebody better. Believe that. Y'all think Sierra's the baddest bitch you've ever seen, but yet you could go to a neighborhood in your city and find a bitch better than Sierra. It's not hard to find a beautiful woman. It really is not. So that doesn't make you special. It's what's on the inside that makes you special. The things that nobody can see. Those gifts that God gave you. Those are the things that make you special. But at a certain age, if you don't know that, you shouldn't be fucking reproducing, period. And if you're homeless, you shouldn't be reproducing. You ain't working. You shouldn't be reproducing. You begging. You shouldn't be reproducing. You sleeping around with everybody. You shouldn't be reproducing at 40, 40 fucking plus years old. 40 and goddamn pregnant and irresponsible. That shit is sickening. It's sickening when young girls do it, but to have a grown-ass woman sit around and other grown-ass women sit around and listen to this bullshit like it's okay and not cuss this bitch out, talking about her feelings and uh, we don't want to upset her. Oh, y'all don't want to upset her because she pregnant, but she pregnant don't give a fuck about cussing everybody else out calling them the most disgusting names. And these are people that you sat up with and smiled in their fucking face and laughed and keep, keep, keep with. And now look, so I want to know, this is what I want to know. Are they going to forget this hoe in the next uh, few days? Are they going to excuse her because she was pregnant? Or will they ban this bitch like they should have done a long time ago? Huh? See ya. I holla.